Hey everybody and welcome to my behind the scene of Sears Creepy Queepyween. Uh, this is Mr. Front. Oh no, wait, this is Mr. Bones. Everyone has a name here. <laughs> He's just hanging there. He's excited. Anyway, I just want to show you some uh, behind the scene footage. Right now it's just a huge fucking mess. Um, all of our props are just lying around like crazy. But eventually everything should find its own place. And I actually never recorded with this camera, so I hope the sound is cool. This spider is pretty cool. It doesn't do anything right now, but it actually has an. It's actually animated, but uh, uh, it's too late. Like it's yeah, it's too late. I can't hook it up right now. It's too loud. Uh, this is probably where we're gonna have our food. So right now, just you know, placed everything in here. We have a lot of candy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> more candy, cause you know you need candy. Uh, this is uh, Gloria. My girlfriend named this guy Gloria. This is actually uh, a thing from my coworker that he lent it us, uh, gave us, lent it us. That sounds stupid. So thanks for that. Some more stuff. Kirby. Well, Kirby has nothing to do with this, but Kirby's always good. This is Frank. Frank is cool, he does something too, but he's actually absolutely not scary, because, well, I'll show you one setup. I don't want to spoil everything. Some more stuff, and as you can see, it's really messy, so I apologize for that. A spider, another one. This one can, uh, it comes down. I guess I can show you that, because it's not really loud. So basically, you put it on your wall somewhere. Let me find the on switch. It has an on switch there. And it just goes down. Whee! And up again. Nothing super scary, but it should look nice, especially if you hide it properly. So let's turn this off. Um, the biggest pile is probably this. <laughs> We just dumped everything we bought on a big pile, or most of it at least. So what do we have here? We have some... Some... Thingies, some worms. More bugs. Lots of skulls. Huge, small skulls. Lots of spider webs. Those are actually pretty cool. Um, those are like a bug. Found it in the dollar store, so we bought like... I don't know, probably seven packages of those. And you can do really cool stuff with them. Like this, another one. We have some lights, we have more lights. Some awesome cloth, which I still have to use. Some pumpkins. All the good stuff. Is there anything special here? I really like those skulls, they look pretty cool. You can also move the, the jaw. Hello, people! Can't do it <laughs> with one hand. Uh, yeah. St stuff, stuff, stuff. There's another spider. I believe this one just glows. That's not hooked up. Needs batteries. Uh, we have some tombstones. Uh, let me show you these spider webs. Like, oh wait, it's not here. <laughs> Hope you don't get dizzy. But like here, for example, we tried it. This is my girlfriend made this just as a giveaway for some people. So those spiders come with them too. And this stuff is really good. Like this is just a small piece and you can just pretty much stretch this and like, you know. It sort of looks like spider webs. More stuff. And the goal is to turn my whole apartment into something. I started putting those up. Uh, it's not, it didn't work out the way I wanted it to be, to be honest, but uh, it still looks fine. Those are just some garbage bags cut into pieces. I actually had to tape two together, <laughs> so it looks sort of stupid. But people come in from this side, so you won't really see it. So it should be fine. And then this part is going to be the graveyard in my den here. Right now it's just a big mess again, but we will cover everything in, uh, in cloth. And I just put everything here that I can't use in my apartment because of 
equipment stuff. Uh, this is uh, Alfred, I think. <laughs> He's gonna be uh, here. Oh yeah, we have this huge gate. Which I will put outside of here, like in front of this. Can I show this with my hand? No. Like, uh, where's my hand? There. Like here. Like this. So it's sort of like 3D. And we're gonna put some in the bathroom, but um, yeah, just, you know, the more I work on the stuff, the more pictures I will take and show you. And yeah, you'll see the end result soon. In Let's see. Can I zoom in on this without making it dizzy? Ooh. I don't even know if you can read this. It's 1.04 in the morning. And Creeper Wind starts at 6 p.m. today. So, lots to do. Not a lot of time. And I've my pee here. Anyway. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go back, do something with this. Other than step on it and destroy everything. And, uh,. I hope I'll see you soon. Alright guys, one thing I want to show you, which looks really cool. So I just bought a simple okay that shouldn't work. <laughs> a simple um actually it might work. I don't know if you can read it now, probably. A black light. This one was uh yeah. let's see. 1999. I got it half price because it was Halloween. That's a good thing about having your event after Halloween, you get everything half price. Um, but there's one good thing about this, so if you turn this on, you see just black light. But what you can do now, if you have some tonic water, just bought some very cheap one, but you can already see it, it glows. Look at this. Is that awesome? Just glows in front of black light like this. See behind it doesn't whoop. Looks like atomic waste. Let me turn off the lights. Get oh, I guess I have to turn off the other lights too. There we go. Ah oh, look at these. Pretty camera. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so what I would do with this stuff. Since a lot of people don't really like drinking just tonic water, I would probably turn those into ice cubes. And uh, actually it look pretty cool in your drink, having some glowing ice cubes there. So yeah, just want to show you, pretty cheap to do, pretty cool effect. I believe you can also put, um, if you buy a marker, like one of those highlighters for paper, if you open them you can use the uh, the the liquid inside as well just put in water and hold it in front of black light and it's gonna glow obviously you can't drink it so don't do that but yeah there we go black light drink all right guys like I mentioned earlier I want to make some uh, ice cubes out of tonic water and so I got my ice cube here but what I want to do is I bought those guys coke roaches Look at them. I showed you earlier, but you couldn't really see, I guess. Those are gross looking. So those are just simple plastic. So what I did is, I put some of those in a bowl, just washed everywhere, and, like make sure they're all clean and stuff. And now, I'm just gonna put them in here. And I really hope this is gonna work out. And then I will just fill each hole with some tonic water and make ice cube out of those and hopefully they will glow the ice cubes and it will freak out some people I'm also gonna make some without um, you know just so in case someone really doesn't want to take this uh, I guess I didn't make enough but that's alright don't need to fill the whole thing there we go so now Get the camera. I don't know if I can do this here properly. I should buy a tripod. Alright. I really don't know if I should get rid of the uh, the bubbles first or not. But you know what? For the first for the first try I will try it like this. 
I don't know if you can see it or not, but so it really holds. Yeah, that's fine. But I'm really like, I don't know if I might be doing it. I'll be drinking coffee. I should know. Yes, I'll go to solve it. I'll go to solve it. There we go. Nice. <laughs> Disgusting. That's how we wanted. This guy have to probably. Mm. Let's see. Let's try to get him down there. Stay down. Alright. That looks awesome. And I will show you guys hopefully how they look like when it's done, if I don't forget. So I'll probably see you guys then. Bye bye. Alright guys, time for another update. So I worked a bit on the graveyard here, so let's go in. I don't know how good the light is going to be on the camera, but um, basically, well, you're not allowed to get in here, actually. You would stand outside just look in here, but um, I put some graves down, added some spider webs, added some bones. This is just leftover spider web. I have to still put it somewhere. Just covered everything here a little bit with spider webs. Those lights actually turn on after um, this machine here, I don't know if you can see it, um, recognizes a person or uh, well, recognizes light, updates or <laughs> um, sound effects, anything like this. So I think when Alfred over there is going to be here, like on this position, if he goes off and he makes a lot of sound, I think those should get triggered. Uh, but I can't test it right now. It's, it's way too late. So I have to wait till tomorrow till I can test it. Um, just add some black light over there. Well, not black light. Just it's called black light, even though it's not a real black light. But it's just the color. It's more like a purplish color. Um, so yeah, I don't know how much you can see on this camera. Some bones. So this is almost done. I covered a lot here in this uh, in garbage bags. You can see some things are still sticking out. Here's my whiteboard. But whatever, it doesn't have to be perfect. You won't. No, well, let me show you. You would probably, because the gate is here, you will only be able to like look around, look in here, or something. So you won't really see much uh, in this corner. But um, what's left to do is sort of get those spider webs working better. I'm not happy with those yet. I have a hard time stretching them. I wish I could move them down here a bit, but uh, maybe I get it done. And I will add, where is it? Did I put it here? I guess I didn't grab it. Some uh, some moss. Like those graves actually came with moss. Actually, let me turn on the lights here. You can see better. <laughs> uh, those graves actually came with moss. I like how these spider webs look on those. It makes it look pretty cool. Um. So I need to put some around here. Those have nothing. What does it even say? In memory of Mona Mora. Okay. <laughs> Full Mona. So yeah. Uh, before I do this though, I'm really tired of those garbage bags, man. This took forever cutting those things, and I still have to cut more for this part. <sighs> I added another row here, as you can see. But those are two. I don't know if you can see this. I like this one a lot more. This is actually a different garbage bag. It's a bit longer than the other one. If you can see this. Yeah. Um, and it looks a lot better. So, because people will stay here and look into this, I think I will leave this gap and then start at this. Where is it? At this line. <laughs> Again, to like, you know, like over here or something. So you won't really see much when you go through this hallway, I hope. Uh, everything's gonna be dark and like... I can't really do it. This over there is gonna be dark. This whole hallway is gonna be dark, so it looks pretty creepy. And it looks really nice with the light. Let me turn off the... Actually, let's turn off everything. <laughs> it's not gonna be that dark, but... Um, yeah, you won't see anything for a few seconds, but let's pretend I come in. Alright, now I'm at the entrance door. Let's, uh, I hope the camera gets focused somehow. Oh god, it's fuzzy. Camera? <laughs> okay. I think that's a bit better. 
so you would see those black things you would see a little bit light over there through those cracks I don't know how good this is gonna be on video but um, basically you just walk through those things <laughs> <laughs> and then once you stay here uh, stand here this uh, this zombie gets activated and hopefully does light so this should look pretty cool you can look in a bit here I probably should cover this white wall <laughs> now that I think about it Ah, oh, I really don't want to use those garbage bags anymore. But yeah, I should do this. I also realized I sound like I'm out of breath the whole time on camera, which is not the case. I don't know why I sound like this. But anyway, it's just stress. Uh, stress. <laughs> Can't even say stress, right? All right. So let me turn on the lights again. Just a little update here, um, and I hope this is going to be done soon because it is. Oh, what is it? Holy crap! It is 3.21 on a blurry camera. <laughs> I need sleep soon. Alright, so hopefully I get some more done here. Not much time left, but uh, I should probably start another thing. So, see you guys then. Bye bye! Alright, here's the final graveyard. Need to be quiet because it's sound activated. Mm. And then when people come in, but no, uh, it goes there. Here's Mr. Bones, and there's our spider. And if someone makes a noise, sometimes and here the here's the TV stand where people were sitting watching uh, the one person playing over there with super messy right now and there's some sealed off door a spider hanging there this is the next day after creeper Queen, so it's a bit messy um, here's some giveaways for people trick or treat which some people forgot to take home uh just have a bed hanging here creepy bed here's another spider that comes down when people walk by and make a sound which is there we go creepy that's pretty cool Over there, some leftover food, or well, some of it. This is where we had our food placed on this table. The thing is pretty cool with the sauce. You can see the little grace here, rib guacamole, and stuff. There's some cupcakes there, lots of candy that no one wanted, more candy that no one wanted. Too much candy. Some stuff here. This Halloween sign actually was hanging on the window. Oops, it's fuzzy. There we go. But it actually fell off exactly after Creeper Ween ended, which was pretty funny. It's like it was planned. A dead crow. 
wrapped in spider webs. This is the bathroom. So when people came in here, some bloody mirror stuff, spider webs. But this guy is awesome. <laughs> Oh, he didn't finish the sentence. That's Frank. He's more like a homeless guy. Hanging out of shower.